Alrighty guys, so welcome back to the channel and today of course I have another ECU hair to give you guys a first look. So this one is not exactly a new one but might be new to some of you guys. So in front of me I have what is called the Closed Deck X4 by OpenLogic EFI and that is created by my good friend Aaron over in New York. Right, so We'll start off as usual by giving you just a overview of what it looks like. I'm going to twirl it for the camera and then I will just go over a couple of the features and some of the other details that I think you guys really need to know about this one. Alright, so let's do the dance. So we're going to go all around. This here is the back end. And this is what it essentially looks like. Right, so again, closed deck X4. So this one, um, we're gonna go over what it is and what it isn't. So for those of you keen eye, would see this one looks a lot like um, it has the same connectors as the popular ECU Masters Black. ECU Master Black, sorry. And that's exactly what it is. So. On the front here, we'll see the FCI automotive connectors and comes with these two connectors as well and some pins, which you use to make your harness. So it uses the exact same connector as ECU Master. So for you keen eye guys. Um, so let's go over the dimension. So length wise, we're looking at here, we're looking at 145 millimeters from end to end length, width, including this little mountain airs we see here it's 140 millimeters and without it it's about 110 and the thickness which is this bit we're looking at 39 mm so on the front side we see the connectors this is a metal enclosure looks very sturdy on the back end we have the port here for the vacuum line so it does have an onboard map sensor as well and on the back end here if you look here something a little bit different we have a usb type c connector with this weatherproofing port so you can always hook it up um, when you're done this enclosure is supposed to be water resistant for the most part i haven't personally tested it out myself but it is supposed to be Right, so let's go over some of the features of this one. So, again, this one is still powered by the Arduino Mega um, processor. Right, so what we do have with that is we can still use most of the Arduino features. Not that you will need to anyways, but uh, you can, just so you know. All right, so starting off here, this is, again, like I said, the FCI connector. So both of these are, if I recall correctly, 63 pins on each one of these. So this one does support up to eight channels, but it does have four ignition and four fuel channels. Right, so you can do up to eight channels in wasted spark or um, batch fire. Right, but for your six cylinders and four cylinders, which is mostly what people use this on, it should not be a problem. Eight cylinders, you're not going to have any problems either. So, like I said, it does have four injector channels and four ignition channels. Those are selectable. Um, so, the logic on this, you can select it to be either 12 volts or 5 volts to fire your smart coils. It does not fire um, dumb coils directly you need some sort of igniter it does have five customizable spare analog inputs so you can use this for zero to five volt sensors so like oil pressure fuel pressure etc etc we have three trigger inputs for crankshaft and camshaft and two camshafts so if you have a car an engine commonly like the some of the what's it called the one uses i believe have to come sensors and a lot of engines we can support this directly with this ecu 
um, we have one dual VR conditioner mount. So on the inside, you can open it up. It you can specify it when purchasing it so that it can come with a VR conditioner. So you use that if your your engine has VR sensors rather than hall sensors. If you have hall sensor or an optical sensor engine, you do not need a, a VR sensor. So it is removable. Um, we have a four bar, like I said, a four bar map sensor on board. So this port on the back end here, we can do up to three bars of boost so that would work out to be around roughly 43 44 psi of boost so good for most engines unless you want something which can support a lot more boost than that then you would probably end up having to do maybe a external external map sensor so we do have a dvr8825 stepper model stepper module mount on the inside so again so if you your your ecu for instance not your ecu your engine for that matter supports a vr condition uh stepper motor like a 4g63 to name one then you can also add that on the inside we have six configurable outputs max up to two amps so you can configure that for stuff like your fuel pump your fan your idle control boost control vvt to name a few uh, to name a few we have four spare outputs in addition to the two so you have um the six are pre-configured so the fan goes on this pin the fuel pump will go on that pin it's all documented in the manual for this one and then you have another four that are customizable so if you want to do something that is not in the list that we provided for fuel pump etc you have four additional ones we have one um output for tachometer we have the typical input so flex fuel sensor um, clutch sensor to name a few and we have the two serial headers so the serial headers are on the inside so in case you want to do stuff like a bluetooth module you can add this to it if you need to when purchasing it you can also specify to add the bluetooth module and whatnot and like i mentioned on the back end here we have a watertight usb type c connector right pretty different to um, most other ecus that um are in the speedwino realm so this one i am very excited to use i know i say this a, a lot about all the issues that i get to review but this one i'm very excited this one seems very steady extremely steady so actually if it's like if you drop this it's actually going to if you drop it on someone's foot it's actually going to cause some damage again i love the what the effort to make this one waterproof um I love the enclosure. It's looking a lot more um, like something that is rugged and then would survive in a car's harsh environment, especially if you do motorsports, rally or whatnot. This looks like it can bounce around and then you will be fine and not have to worry about the ECU. So uh, it, like I said, it does... Um, it is still powered by the Arduino. So again, you still use Tuner Studio and whatnot to, to program it and to tune it um, still use mega log viewer to data log it and still use speedy loader to upload and reflash firmware and whatnot so this one again is another step forward for the speedwino community i'm very excited and pretty soon i'll show you guys what i actually intend to use this one for so again last view before i end this video and again Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hopefully this one was helpful, and I'll catch you guys later.